Hi, I'm Dan Hoff, CEO of Honey Stick, and today we're going to be going through the Dry Herb Honey Stick Ozone Tank, which is your dry herb tank that will work with all your 510 thread mod batteries. Now, I actually received a lot of emails and some comments from you guys that said, hey, you've done a unboxings and detailed you know talk abouts on all of your adapters except for the ozone and i thought we made one but we didn't so here it is we're going to go jump right into the ozone and for the first time on today's um today's episode we are going to bring in a guest who is going to then show you guys exactly how it works because we've actually our customer service team has received a lot of calls on how to optimize the usage. So we're gonna so show you exactly how easy it is to use this tank and really some of the most effective uses for the tank. So you're gonna get your ozone box and then you're also gonna have a mod battery. Now the ozone tank, they say, are my mod batteries compatible with the ozone or what do I need to look for? It's really simple. You need to make sure, first of all, that your mod battery is a 510 threat. Most mod batteries on the market, I would say about 97% of them, do use a 510 thread that will work with the ozone. So you need to pick a mod that is power adjustable or at least power adjustable within a range so you can set the wattage either up or down. For example, this is one of our Honey Stick batteries, our Defender series. Most mods are five clicks on five clicks off so that you can plus or minus and adjust your power level which is important because the ozone tank has a couple of features where if you run at a certain wattage it has a very light vaporization and you run at another wattage and it gets into more of a combustion style uh, vaping experience so and we will jump right into that as well so you get your tank Now let's go over the kit contents here. You're going to have your ozone tank. You're going to have two of these spare silicone mouthpieces. These are really good if you, um, if you're, let's say, taking this out and sharing, or if you want to keep your stainless steel mouthpiece clean, you know, these come into come very handy. So you have your mouthpieces. You have a really cool honey stick band, which actually has two uses, which I will tell you guys about. You have a extra spare mouthpiece filter which goes in between your mouthpiece and your tank, which I will show you shortly. You have some wicks for a technique called wicking, which we will do in a separate video about pro tips. Two extra replacement gaskets, which are the gaskets that go in between your glass and your bottom base for the coil. So how do you use the tank? First of all, you're going to take it, you're going to screw it in to your 510 thread mod battery. Make sure it's nice hand tight, you don't need to over tighten it. Then you're going to lightly wiggle the glass off. The very first time you get your tank, it might be a little bit tight. Generally, if you have the base screwed in and you gently wiggle side to side, it'll come off just fine. Now, once your gaskets wear down from use, the two black gaskets that I showed you, you will just simply take those two rubber gaskets off with a pair of tweezers, simply slide those over, your gaskets will be good as new. A lot of people have asked us questions to our customer services, do I have to fine grind up my dried herbs or do I just put them in, in the nug form? Um, how, how do I fill up the tank and how much fills this tank up? So here's the best way to do it. You do not have to fine grind the herbs up but just pick them apart so that they're not all clumped together in very small pieces. And you want to fill up the bowl to where it's about three quarters full, and you do not want to pack the bowl tightly. 
You want to have it a loose tight so that air can still flow and circulate around the bowl. And when you draw on the inside of the bowl, that you don't have it so tightly knit that the smoke doesn't, the vapor doesn't come up. So once you have it nice and packed up, gently wiggle your glass back on. And now going over to your plastic mouthpiece, there's two ways that you can use your plastic mouthpiece. You can either drop it right in to connect as an attachment to your existing mouthpiece. Or you can just completely pull your mouthpiece out and drop in the little plastic one. That's in case if you're sharing, if you don't like the metal mouthpiece for some reason, you can do that. Now, as you can see in there, that's where your little replacement metal grill is. We gave you an additional grill, just in case if you break or damage that one. But there should be really nothing wrong with that little metal grill, and in the event that it does get clogged, you can simply use a unfolded staple or the tip of a needle to just simply poke out any particles that might be stuck in there and make sure that you're getting good airflow. Or you can just take off the glass and just soak it in isopropyl alcohol for about half an hour. All the little particles should dislodge. Make sure it's nice and dry and then you can clean it. So once you have it all set up, you would turn on your mod battery and then we would talk about the desired wattage settings. So this tank has an operating range of 15 watts to 28 watts. So that means if you're going over 28 watts, you run the risk of burning out your coil. Now we do sell replacement coils, which is basically this bottom bowl assembly, which is the electrical end of the unit. So if you do burn it out, you can buy replacement ones on www.vaponystick.com. So at 15 watts, what you have is a very light vaporization. When you operate the unit, you would set it up to the desired wattage. So let's say it is 20 watts. And again, like I said, don't take it above 28 watts. So we set it to 20 watts. Now people say, do I just push the button and start inhaling on it? No, this is a ceramic bowl unit. So with ceramic bowl units, the heat up is not instantaneous. So what I tell people to do is to push and hold the button down for five seconds. And most mods, as you see, have a little timer there. So once that timer gets to five seconds, that's when you start inhaling. Continue holding the button for the remainder of the timer and start your inhale only after the five seconds and continue inhaling and then let go once you're done inhaling. Now do keep in mind that most mod batteries have a 10 to 14 second timeout function on them. So that means that in order to continue going, you have to release the button even if it's for a millisecond and then push back down to continue the heating cycle. It's a safety feature that we put into our mods and most other vape manufacturers do put into theirs. So you don't have to worry much about it. Now, if you want to see more vapor that comes out that is a little bit closer to the combustion side or dial up the intensity, this mod battery of ours goes up to 25 watts. Now, other mod batteries can go higher than that. And again, like I said, 28 is your cap. But if you run it up to 28, you're gonna get a more rapid heat up. You're gonna get a little bit more of combustion cells. So you're actually gonna see and visualize the smoke and not just taste the, the kind of clear, transparent vapor. It's gonna be more dense and intense. And, but it is gonna go through the herbs faster. So then people say, do I have to move around the herbs? Well. This unit heats from the bottom, and because it has a ceramic bowl, it does project the heat from the outsides, so it tends to burn, burn pretty evenly. But what people should do is once they've taken a few heating cycles on it, is they should look to see how the herbs are discoloring and either kind of move them around, you know, just stir them up a little bit, or if they've been completely discolored, then you simply empty it out and you can refill from there. Now, a good way to keep your bowl clean 
just use those little surgeon swabs or isopropyl wipes and just very gently clean around the edges and the bottom piece or use a Q-tip dipped in isopropyl alcohol. So this little unit is definitely a real good budget way if you have a mod battery already or you're looking to get into dry herb vaping but those concealed and closed off one piece units aren't for you. So for this and several other cool items, jump onto www.vapehoneystick.com. But if you want to stick around for us to show the demo of how, to, how this unit really is in action with one of our brand ambassadors who works here at Honey Stick, then stay tuned because I'm bringing her in right now. So for you guys that stuck around for our demo, this is Tosh, AKA Honey Girl. You're gonna see a lot more of her popping up on the channel, keeping you guys up to date on events and happenings here at Honey Stick. And for all you in the biz guys, you're definitely gonna catch her at a lot of the trade shows we're gonna be doing to help promote our products yep. in the biz. So introduce yourself, Tosh. All right, guys, like Dan said, if you guys are um, watched our demo with the HRB, thank you for watching. And um, I'm Tosh, and I get to be Dan's assistant today. So we are going to show you what's up. All right, well, a lot of our users that were watching, a lot of our uh, Honey Stick subscribers, they're interested today in our ozone tank. Is that a tank that you've, uh, you've, you've tried out before out of our uh, product line? Actually, the no, the ozone tank and not. Which one's your favorite honey um, stick product? Just while we're while while we're at it, so people get to know a little bit more about you. Um, my favorite. Well, right now the Mini Max is my favorite. I don't go anywhere without. So Mini Max. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Is Mini it, Max Pro actually? Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> Hi. Keeping it yeah. concealed, or I've, that's one of our latest models. I've actually been posting so much about it. I feel like people are probably tired of seeing it, but um. It's just perfect for like my lifestyle. People are never tired of seeing Honey Stick and we're gonna show them a little bit more right now. So, okay, so have you seen these batteries? We actually just put them up on the website no, today. I'm looking at them, they're neat. These what are part it? of our little Skunk Works program here. We like to, you know, we keep a close lid on it, just the, the product development team. But right now- um, Wait, so this is part of the- we're, we're actually releasing this today and uh, you're gonna use one of these for your demos. So, so pick a design that you like, that you think is uh, appealing. I like this one so far. Blue Camo, one of my favorites too. So grab that and uh, grab one of those uh, ozone tanks that we have over there for you. Gotcha. So you're just gonna simply screw the tank into the end piece right there because it's a 510 thread like a lot of our other products so now I can finally say that I tried it exactly just more of like an oil. so now what I would like you to do is just hold the battery and then gently wiggle the uh, the, the top piece off to detach it from the base the little uh, glass, piece. glass piece so you can then work on filling the tank there you go perfect so just set that Where? down and then uh, what are you gonna be vaping on today? I am, I have here my Herb Lights and this is um, CBD Herb, THC free. So no, hold on, I gotta check that. It's gotta be THC free if we're a publicly traded company and uh, it's it's gotta be on the channel. All right, all right, you're good, all right. And, and it's work hours here, guys. We're not trying to, you know, it is Friday, but I, we're not trying to have that much fun here in high school. We still got a job to do. Exactly. So, uh, all right. So now what I'm going to want you to do is just take enough of the little herbalites out <laughs> and um, you don't need to grind them up or anything like that. Just loosely pick them apart. And basically you're going to want to have enough to fill this up about two thirds to three quarters of the way. Gotcha, Dan. He's my boss. So I have no choice. but to. She listen. has no choice. She signed a waiver. <laughs> I did. Gotta do. All right. Am I doing this right? Yep. And what you're gonna want to do is you're gonna want to push them down gently, but not pack it up too tight. All right. I think that's perfect. Just push it down gently. There you go. Yeah. All right. Then you're gonna put the top back on. Easy. Push the button five times to turn it on. Turn on the battery. 
like most of our mod batteries and Sarah, you're gonna see it blink, go through the welcome screen. Now, what we're gonna do is let's set it up to the max. This battery, as I explained in one of our other videos, is 25 watts. So take that plus sign and keep pushing it until you get up to 25. You have to 25? 25. All right, so the procedure that I like to tell people to do when they're utilizing this product is because it's a ceramic, it does take a little bit longer to heat up. So heat up is not instantaneous, but what you do lose in heat up time, you will make up for in flavor. So this is a cold tank. So on the very first cycle, you might not get as good of a draw, but it's a two or three cycle tank. So you're gonna push and hold the button for five seconds but don't inhale on it then once you see the timer go to five then you inhale for the remainder of the five seconds right and then exhale so and then timer repeat span. exactly because most mod batteries they only stay on for 10 to 14 seconds this one has a 10 second timeout it's a safety feature so you're just gonna push and hold and when you see it get to five continue pushing and holding but only start inhaling when the timer gets to five or six. Okay, so it's so push and hold, then once it gets to five or six, then you start inhaling. And then the second one should be better because now the bottom of the bowl. So what you want to do is once the bowl's heated up a little bit, you follow it up immediately Ooh. and it should be better. We're we're gonna talk about her reviewing the taste of whatever she's doing on a social media channel probably. You get you getting any flavor off of that? I could feel the hit getting bigger and bigger. Yeah, so oh. the heat up time is a little bit more rapid. You see she's not waiting the full five seconds. And the taste really isn't bad because I've hit vaporizers too. Um, not this specific um, dry herb vaporizer, but I have before, and you do get a, like a taste. I realize that. So you're actually able to taste the difference. It's not just a. Is it is it burnt at all? Is it harsh? I mean, what are you? No. You know, be no. honest with our subscribers here. We have to. No, of course, nope. All right, so that is basically a demo. So now what she would do after this is she would take the unit apart, you know, check the herbs, see how, if they're discolored at all, and, uh, you know, reuse and repeat accordingly. But as you can see, this is a really simple, good way to get into dry herb vaping. Buying the ozone for your mod attachment is not a expensive upgrade, but it can be flavorful, as Tosh just said, and it's definitely very easy to so use. So I get to take this one home? Uh, no, that's kind of a display model, but maybe next video. Are you sure? There's not going to be like a contest or something that I can enter for this one? <laughs> <laughs> may, may, maybe if some of our Honey Stick uh, YouTubers <laughs> petition for that, then we'll, we'll give her a bonus unit to take home and play with for the weekend. But I hope you guys liked our little demo. See ya. And I hope you guys enjoyed it here with Honey Girl. And uh, we will be back. Have a good weekend. And like Dan says, stay lifted.